Welcome to ITU Telecom World here in Bangkok, Thailand. Today I have with me Mr. Yukio Ito, who is the Senior Vice President of Software Infrastructure at NTT Communications in Japan. Ito-san, great to have you here. Thank you. This is a very interesting event this year, and the theme is all about digital change, or change in the digital world. What do you see as the biggest opportunities in this changing digital world? So, uh, for a network uh, business industry especially, I believe uh, SDN, Software Defined Networking Architecture, this is a really uh, important uh, technologies to uh, innovate uh, at the current uh, network business situations. But what are the challenges that will come with moves towards SDN? Mm -hmm. Because uh, SDN, its concept is very simple. Yeah, that uh, uh, the current equipment, like a router, the switching, switching systems, is a combined whole of functions, packet forwarding function, and uh, <coughs> control functions, and uh, some kinds of uh, network uh, application software. Is that the major change, though, that, that uh, the network, we're going to separate the control plane from the... Yes, yes, uh, because network operation, network, uh, network uh, equipment operation, is still manual because that is a, uh, all function is one box, and uh, those uh, functions are uh, from uh, many kinds of vendors. That's a, a black, uh, one of a type of a black box type of uh, you know, equipment. That's why uh, our engineers and uh, our customers engineers, and, and every network engineers have to make uh, as a manual. Yeah. But if SDN uh, architecture is uh, realized, uh, we can uh, completely uh, you know, uh, uh, make uh, our operations uh, like you know, automatically and uh, remotely, uh, like uh, almost same uh, of uh, computer uh, uh, technologies uh, situations. Yeah. How far are we from seeing software-defined networks really working across the network? Mm -hmm. And what's it going to look like in, say, 10 years' time? Uh -huh. So uh, I think... Uh, Maybe from two or three years uh, from now on, it's a very important uh, period to you know uh, evolve, uh, to <coughs> uh, you know uh, to change changing the, those uh, current situations. Many uh, startup company, many current uh, vendors, and also many academias, and also many uh, service providers. They are very very you know uh, interesting, strong interesting to uh, develop uh, those uh, uh, technologies. And uh, maybe I believe uh, from now on, many young and uh, middle and old network engineers shift to uh, like those uh, SDN uh, architectures development. Because, you know, based on the hardware, uh, but uh, from hardware base to software, software base. base. Yes. Uh, software uh, basis is very important because if uh, who are uh, you know, understanding software uh, you know, uh, technologies, uh, he, uh, who, uh, the engineers who uh, can write some kind of software code, they can make any kinds of uh, uh, applications, many kinds of functions for our customers. Yeah. And not only for our customers, but also uh, our internal operation too. That means that we can uh, change uh, completely a current you know, uh, cost situation, current workflow situation. That's a very, very amazing situation. Yeah. I think we're all very excited with the prospect of SDN and mm -hmm. the effects it's going to have on our networks. Uh, Ito-san, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.